All right? And so we'll be starting our show in just a few more moments. Thank you for your patience.
Ça qui passe. Buenas noches. Shalom. Salam. Wagwan. Domo origato. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Unsung Heroes quintessential women of our times. Please put your hands together for you being here this evening. My name is Jay Philip Tavernier and I'm the public affairs manager here in this great city of North Miami Beach that is continuously making strides to not only bring cultural, innovative events for our residents and for the community at large, but also to be a model city of what the rest of the country can be like when teamwork makes the dream work. So in saying that, I would like to uh, bring up to the front our uh, hostess for the evening, who will then introduce our uh, sponsoring commissioner, who will then introduce our host for the evening. <laughs> You're like, and then after that, the man sitting next to the man will then. So once again, thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules, for fraying whatever challenges you may have had to be here this evening. To the children who are here, we pray that this evening is going to be a inspirational, delightful, and wonderful evening for everybody. At this time, will you please bring up your hostess for the evening, Miss Roberta Jusme. Good evening, everyone. I am, <laughs> I am so happy to be here with all of you tonight uh, on the last day of Women's History Month. But it is, <laughs> that's right. But let me tell you, it is most definitely not going to be the least, okay? Tonight we have a lot of wonderful, honorable women. And I am so honored to be here at the second edition Unsung Heroes Ceremony. So before I get started with this evening, I want to present to you the woman, the motivational woman, the inspirational woman, that woman that makes you say that I'm every woman that made tonight possible this evening. North Miami Beach Commissioner Polly Villard was born in St. Louis de Nord, from Rosa and Roland St. Gerald region in Haiti. She was raised in Poripe as a child all the way up to a young adult. At the age of 21, Commissioner Villard immigrated to the United States without the ability to speak English and very few resources to begin her new life in a new country. She dreamed and believed that no matter her circumstances, she had the power to preserve all things, persevere them and become whoever she desired. Commissioner Villard understood the true meaning of knowledge is power and believed proper education would be an attribute that can change her life. Commissioner Villard enrolled at Miami-Dade Community College where she graduated with an associate's degree in arts. She then accelerated her education and attended Barry University where she earned a bachelor's of science in public administration and a master's degree in education. When I say she's that woman, she is that woman. <laughs> now everybody knows in life things are not easy. Sometimes you do have to crawl before you run. Over the course of Commissioner Villard's professional career, she has had many roles. Her first job was a cashier for five years. Then she went on becoming the city of Miami police officer, where she positively impacted lives of the youth and senior citizens for over 27 years before her retirement in the role of a sergeant. Today, Villard, yes. Today, Commissioner Villard is not only a role model, not only a public servant, a mentor, a leader in her community, as well as a proud mother of three wonderful ladies and a grandmother of two beautiful girls. 
In addition to being the commissioner of the great city of North Miami Beach, she represents over 47,000 residents, oversees a budget of $168 million, write laws, and enforces them as well. In her spare time, she is a substitute teacher at a local elementary and middle schools all over the city of North Miami Beach. She, where she continues, excuse me, where she continues to inspire students. In 2021, Commissioner Polly Villard was selected by Florida International University's College of Engineering and Computing to present the commencement ceremony speech to its graduate. When Polly Villard arrived in America, she was just a young adult living in a foreign country where she didn't know the language, the culture, or the landscape. All she had was a dream. Today, Commissioner Villard is the embodiment of an American dream. Without any further ado, the woman that partnered with the city of North Miami Beach to make all of this possible this evening, Commissioner Polly Villard. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's loud. Okay. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know what shows, what, you know, what I, the way that I understand it tonight, the 31 plus honorees who are sitting back there, I think, you know, me and other people who selected them, we made the right choice. If you can leave your house tonight, on a weekday to come here to support these honorees. That means they are so important to the community. We thank you for that. You know, um, tonight I, I really don't know what to say, but uh, I have like 34 women that we are honoring tonight and uh, if I, want, if I had time to stand right here tonight and tell you about most of them, I can just say each and every one of them. I know most of them really kind of personally. And I, I can tell you one thing that they have in common. They are humbled. They are, you know, they are, they are open to serve their communities. And they are professional. They are powerful, professional. But one thing that I like with all of them, they are humble. This is one thing that really separate a woman from a quintessential woman. When we're talking about quintessential woman, we're talking about that person with a doctoral degree, uh, a parent with so many children at home, doing chores and helping, you know, people in the community, feeding the poor and, you know, still feeling like, you know, she's a woman and, you know, she's, you know, with the degrees that she has, she doesn't really care. She represents her community. She served with grace and dignity. And this is why we selected 34 women today. I'm just gonna tell you this quick uh, message that I have in the book. And this is the booklet, you know, that most of the, all of the honorees will be receiving and all the sponsors will be receiving. Okay, I'll just read the message quickly. It says, thank you to the women who have been chosen for this evening's award presentation. You are admired as role models who serve our community tirelessly with class distinction and dignity. You are beautiful inside and out, powerful, influential, and yet humble. You truly fit the definition of a quintessential woman, serving with grace, poise, and humility. Thanks for all that you do in each of your chosen profession to make our community a better place for all of us. We enjoy being part of your audience as you make a difference today and as you continue to make an impact tomorrow. You know, I have this quote that I really like that fits exactly for tonight. It says, when I consider the reasons to recognize this South Florida heroine, I am reminded of the wise words of Kavita Ramdas, a globally recognized advocate for gender equity and justice who said, we need women who are so strong, they can be gentle. So educated, they can be humble. So fierce, they can be compassionate. So passionate, 
they can be rational, and so disciplined, they can be free. This word inspired the creation of the quintessential Women of the Times Award, a unique celebration of strong, accomplished women who make our world better by their very existence. Congratulations, ladies. You deserve it. Uh, thank you so much. Tonight is your night. We hope it's as special for you as you, as you are to us and to your, all your family tonight. Please enjoy the time here with your family and friends. And thank you for allowing us to honor you this evening. Parents, family, and friends, sit back, relax. relax. It's going to be so much of a great event. You will never forget it. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, looking for my water. Okay, now tonight we want to uh, we want to say thank you to all our elected officials. Without them, we wouldn't have a great city of North Miami Beach. You know, those are the people who are in charge or responsible to keep the city going on a day-to-day -day basis. Our city manager is not here tonight because uh, he's traveling, and we want to thank uh, all the staff, parks and recreation. We want to thank the city of North Miami Beach Police Department. We want to thank the staff from the uh, from community uh, from public affairs. I almost say community relations because I'm a police officer from City of Miami's community relations, but public affairs unit. And uh, let's call to the stage. And we want to really thank uh, Saj Nicole, our uh, Haitian American model, who's here with us tonight. And uh, let let me start calling my elected officials. Um, uh, Vice Mayor Fortuna Smokler. We have Commissioner Daniel Ajan. Commissioner Michael Joseph. Commissioner Mackenzie Florimont. We have our retired mayor from uh, the great city of North Miami, Andre Pierre. And we have our retired mayor from the great city of El Portal, our retired uh, commissioner from the great city of North Miami Beach, Mr. Philip DeRose. And uh, we have our great uh, retired commissioner, Phyllis Smith is here with us. Good evening, I'm Vice Mayor Fortuna Smuckler. I wanna thank um, Commissioner Villard for hosting such a beautiful event this evening. And I do know uh, many of the women being honored today and you did a, a wonderful choice in, uh, they're, they're all, all of them, they're beautiful inside and out. And I also want to salute all the women that are here tonight that are also as special. And thank you, good night and enjoy. I know it's gonna be a beautiful event. And we also have Vice Mayor Alex Desulme, you can say Dr. Alex Desulme, from the great city of North Miami. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the great city of North Miami Beach. My name is Commissioner Daniela Jean, and I want to take this moment to really celebrate all the women in this room. If you're a woman, please stand. All the ladies, stand. Yes, yes, all the ladies, please stand. There's some of the men are standing too. Okay, I, I love it, I love it. You know what? Everyone stand, everyone stand, everyone stand. <laughs> everyone stand. <laughs> I want to take this moment to honor a very special lady in this room. And she is a quintessential woman of the year for 2022. Give it up for Commissioner Polly Villard. So, you know, I really believe in giving honor where honor is due. So we have this beautiful surprise for you. Put your hands together. Yes. 
It takes tenacity to be a powerful woman, not only who has vision, ideas, dreams, but who has the courage to push forward. You inspire me to be myself. So I want to honor you as the woman of the year for 2022. Put your hands together. Well, congratulations, Polly. Um, everyone can be seated now, uh, <laughs> including the men that stood up. Um, bonsoir tout le monde. Oh Buenos dias. And uh, good evening. My name is uh, Commissioner Mackenzie Fleurimont. Uh, son grand plaisir pour nous capable de lancer avec nous à Soya pour nous capable de célébrer toute vie, ou sinon toute femme vaillant qui lance avec nous. Parce que spécialement dans la communauté par nous, nous connaissons que les femmes sont potomitants communauté noire et nous connaît un nous bat bravo pour ça c'est pour ton mitan communauté à que nous y est et nous connaît que sans nous même et bien garçon il a pas d'apprendre qui bon pour lui mettre tête n'est ce pas euh capable de dire comment monsieur marié en pile fois me lever le matin si c'est pas madame qui dit qui vous pour me faire bon à me chire euh bon they told me to keep it short uh, commissioner Jean just told me to keep it short they don't call me the speaker of the house for no reason. But anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, and uh, I, I want to thank all the women that are here this evening and uh, thank uh, Commissioner Villard for honoring them, uh, for all of their work, all of their strength, everything that they are um, to, to each and every one of us. Um, if it's not for you guys and everything that you do, we're not here and uh, we're, we're, we're not as supported as, uh, as we all should be. So um, we celebrate you guys not only in Women's History Month, but every single day. We want to celebrate the women. And congratulations again, Polly. Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Joseph. I'm one of the commissioners at the, within the great city of North Miami Beach. I'm glad that you guys are all here to celebrate women history as well as women greatness. Uh, we have several up, up on the stage that work with us on this day. And I say thank you so very much. We're very fortunate because a lot of times if, if there's not enough, if, if it's just us there, us men, we will pre, pre, probably won't even get anything else done. But because they're there, they help us along and they bring a, a perspective that we can't bring. So I say congratulations to everyone and uh, let's have a great show. Thank you. Well, you know what, this is really what leadership is all about, and this is what teamwork is all about. You know, when uh, Daniela come, I used to say, I'm the only Haitian American woman, the first in the great city of North Miami Beach. But, you know, we had to work hard to make sure that we had another one. And when she came as the youngest, now she took the trailblazer from me. She said, oh, I'm the trailblazer, but I'm so happy, I'm so proud, I'm so honored to have uh, Daniela Jean as one of our, you know, our commissioners sitting on the dais. It makes so much of a difference. Thank you, Daniela. You know, it's you, you, you're good. Thank you. But ah, okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Can I give a round of applause, please, for our commissioners this evening, our vice mayor? Okay. So, commissioner. Commissioner, where are you going? Why don't you take a seat with us? Take a seat right over there. Take a seat, take a seat. All right. So, y'all ready to get the ceremony started or? Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So, I like something that Commissioner Michael Joseph said. He said that having a woman there gives a different perspective. I know a lot of people here behind every strong man, there's a strong woman. But do you know what's behind every strong woman? A herd of strong women that is pushing her, that's inspiring her, that's pouring positivity into her, okay? So let's get this night started with your official host tonight. As seen on Channel 10, five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Calvin Hughes.
don't have a lot of Channel 10 viewers out there, but that's okay. Whether you watch or not, I'm enjoying myself. You invite me to 32 women into a room, I'm there when women are. You see what I'm saying? The guys know what I'm saying. The ones who are married just kind of give me a head nod. That's it. You can't really participate. If you're single, go ahead. All right. Everyone having a good night tonight? I don't believe you. That's too weak. Everyone having a good night tonight? That's what I'm talking about. My gosh. Okay. Commissioner, you cannot have a journalist here and not at least have me interview you. So I have a couple of questions for you. Um, so where did this idea come from for tonight for the unsung heroes? Thank you so much. It's an honor to have you in the house, Mr. Youth. And um, the, own, uh, the idea came last year. Uh, I did my first Unsung Hero last year, but it was to Zoom because of the COVID, you know, the hardship that we had last year. And I feel like the whole year is really women's year, but you know, since we, they give us a month or they give us a day, so, you know, I selected 25 women last year, and I said, you know what, this year, since the COVID is a little down, and let's do it in person. Let everybody know those unsung heroes, because after today, they're gonna be, they're not gonna be unsung anymore. They're gonna be singing, right? Give them your round of applause. So this is how, when I looked on, you know, out there, a lot of beautiful, powerful women who are giving back to the community. Usually I see they do a lot of uh, award ceremonies, but they're honoring the same people all the time. I'm like, okay, no, that's not, that cannot be done because we have to bring those own songs, those people who are working backstage and nobody ever said thank you to them. You know, it's time. Don't wait until these people die or they're spending their money, they're spending their time to help others. That's how I selected it to do it this year. Hey, give me my flowers now while I am alive. My mother <laughs> yes, sir. Thank would you always so much. say that. Um, yes. So I, I've seen the women backstage. They are waiting on us and uh, all of them. They look absolutely phenomenal. Yes. I thought I was at a Miss America pageant before she told me it was Unsung Heroes. They look fantastic. So we'll get to them in just a moment. But um, curiously, what is your favorite part of the evening so far? My favorite part of the evening, uh, to tell you the truth, when I saw this woman, you know, I know a lot of them, doctors, judges, uh, nurses, and I usually see them working hard. And tonight, they weren't so so much beautiful dresses, the pink. It's a pink affair. You know, usually you hear professional women don't wear pink. But tonight, you look outside, you see all those pink, all those humility, you know, all those compassion, compassionate people. And that make me feel like, you, you know, I'm doing something great, and God put in my heart to really honor this woman, to really tell them to thank, thank, thank them tonight. And the pink is really what attracts me tonight. <laughs> um, and so you uh, talked about it being on Zoom last year, the, uh, the annual uh, Unsung Heroes. Yes. So why is tonight different besides it being in person? Well, because, you know, there's that uh, togetherness. You know, there's like, you can see the faces. You know, you can see the body language. You know, these women, they are, they are so professional. They are really educated and all this. But tonight they are so happy. You're looking at them, they are like, wow, this is the greatest thing that they have. So, you know, to me, it's really, it's really great to have this tonight. Yes, yes, the togetherness is what we all missed over yes. the last couple of years. Uh, what do you want people to take away from tonight? Tonight, what I would like you to take away, it's like when people do things, think them. Don't just think people that you feel like who's your friend, uh, people who are friends with you, but, you know, if you see a woman out there working, or a man, whoever it is, always encourage somebody. As much as you can, give back to your community. Tell them thank you. And then, you know, it's like, don't do the same thing over and over. Like, you know, it's a little, little click and stuff. Just like, open up the horizon and thank everybody who's working in the community. That's right, be a blessing to others and the final question yes. for you and this is for the ladies backstage too so you may want to powder up ladies backstage because we're coming to you next we're going to lift the curtain but final question uh your message for the residents of north miami beach and for the community you serve message for my residents you know 
my resident, I know a lot of them personally. You know, Commissioner Villard is a friend, is a sister, is a person that is open. When you need something, when you have a concern, do not hesitate to come to Commissioner Villard. You know, I don't see myself just like a commissioner. I see I'm, I'm in a position to really serve the unpriv underprivileged people. So I'm not saying that you are underprivileged, but you voted me to office to, to serve you, to work for you. I'm here. Use me, uh, Abonesia. <laughs> yes. Use Commissioner Villard. Thank you so much. Merci, merci, merci. And as we get ready, ladies and gentlemen, if I can ask you, please stand. I know I'm about to. Yes. And receive this ready? year's yes. Unsung Heroes, Woo! Quintessential Women of the Times, wow. 2002 Honorees. Let's give them a big round of applause. Come on, you could do better than that. Come on, come on. Woo! Here they are. Whoa. Yes, Whoa. yes. Wow. Give them OMG. their flowers now. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Give them their you flowers look now. All right, get your pictures in. I'm going to go to the other side if I could. Can I go? Can I go? I don't, I don't want to get in front of anybody's picture here. All right. Okay, let me. There you are. You can't mess that picture up. You got to face them later on. You can't mess that picture up. Because you know she's going to ask you, did you get my picture, my good side? Ah, which one? We have 32 of them up here. Which one? <laughs> All right. More pictures. Yes. Absolutely. This is their night. All of them. Don't they look good in pink? Pink has never been happier. The color pink has never been happier. Wow. All good? No, that's good. Uh, what I'd like to do is to... We're going to do prayer now? Yes, prayer? absolutely. I was about to do that. I was allowing yes, people to take their pictures. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Pastor Greg Williams of Holy Faith Missionary Baptist Church in Miami Gardens will give us the invocation. Please remain standing. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's give God some praise. If you love the Lord, give him some praise. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're in the right place at the right time serving the right God scripture says everything that has breath amen amen Lord said if my people who are called by my name if they will humble themselves and pray turn from their wicked ways he said then shall you hear from heaven and we need to hear from God right now like never before. Let us go before the Lord right now because he's worthy to be praised. How many agree with me on that? Aren't these ladies beautiful? Amen. God has summons them for such a time as this. These sheroes are just amazing. And we want to thank God for what he has done here today. Because we realize if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we certainly do thank you for your amazing grace. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you do, and we give you honor. Now, Lord, we invite you into this place because we recognize the fact that we cannot do anything and we would never try to do anything without you. And so, God, we need you right now. And so, God, we thank you, O oh God, for you uh, doing what you said you will do 
that you will make a way where it seems to be no way. Father God, your presence is important because through your presence, we get power. Through your presence, O oh Lord, we get purpose. And through your presence, O oh God, we get provisions. And we thank you, O oh God, for all that you do. Father God, we thank you for these heroes, these sheroes that are here. We thank you for these 32 and then some quintessential women that are here tonight where you, O oh God, has summons them to, in a time like this, to make a difference in our society. We thank you for the brainchild of none other than Commissioner Pauli Villard, who had the vision to be able to bring this together. And so, God, we thank you for all the commissioners, all the dignitaries, and all of the community that came out to rejoice in a great time like this. And so, God, we give you praise, and we give you honor, and we lift you up, and we call your name holy. And God, in all that we do, we will always lift you up and give you praise and thank you in everything that we do. If we had 10,000 tongues, we will thank you with everyone. So as we look to the hills from whence cometh our help, because we recognize that all our help cometh from thee, we honor you in the name of the Father and the Son, and the church said amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen again. Give God some praise if you love him today. Pastor Williams, thank you so much. Really Bless appreciate you. it. Yes. Since it is a church, we're going to take an offering, and you can write your checks to the Calvin Hughes Church of God and... We're going to keep it Kojic tonight, Calvin. All right. Um, so now please stand. Please remain standing. We have the national anthem, and uh, we have Nadej Etienne, who is going to sing that for us. Nadej Etienne. Give her a round of applause, please. Can everybody please stand up in respect? What so broadly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over rapids we fought, where the gallantly stream and the rocket's red glare, the bombs burst. Nadege Etienne, thank you so thank much you. for that. And um, you. you can take your seats. And while you're taking your seats, we're going to have Mario Willemai. He is an international recording artist. He is going to sing in both English and Creole. And he will play music as our honorees will take their seats. Mario Willemai. Let's give him a big round of applause. Come on now. All the way from Jupiter. He was saying that he wants to come and live in this part of South Florida. And I told him, get ready for a little bit of chaos if you want to come down here, brother. It's a little bit noisier than Jupiter. He's trying to come here and we're trying to move to Jupiter. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Mario Willemai.
Miami, bonsoir. Respect pour vous. Maman, je salue. Sans vous, pas de création. Madame Pouli, Veli, Villa, thank you. We are here tonight to honor all these queens up on the stage. It is a great honor to be once again in North Miami Beach. We're gonna stand up and give a welcome to all these queens up on the stage as you are. Ladies and gentlemen, let's stand up and salute the queens in the house. Fête Miami When the night has gone And the land is dark And the moon is the only light that we'll see Patrick Dorsey sous tambour qui vient dans fait la caïno. N'a pour nous régner, c'est un plaisir pour moi pour me chanter pour vous, c'est une bénédiction pour moi. Sous qu'on chante à chanter avec nous.
C'est évident Tu le sais bien déjà On ne peut jamais les panier Et quand j'en rêve Je ne trouve que ces mots à dire Chante avec moi L'amour pour moi n'est qu'une histoire Chante avec moi s'il vous plaît Une histoire Qu'on ne t'y dit ensemble Qu'il reste Toujours inoubliable Qu'ils n'ont fait monter les trottoirs Il est comme l'eau qui désaltère Même quand on est dans un désert Quelquefois il est déniable Attendez nous Chantez plus fort, plus fort Si je t'aime, je ne sais pas amour Pardonne-moi si je péche Ton nom qui fait vibrer mon cœur Ton doux visage si rénant Chaque fois que tu es près de moi Qui m'empêche vraiment de vivre Chaque fois que tu es près de moi Tout ensemble s'il vous plaît Si tu m'aimes Encore plus fort Ça. On pourra vivre Tout est la vie Sans un tout monde Plus fort Si tu m'aimes Comme oh, je t'aime On va chanter Si tu m'aimes, des amis, thank you. <rires> non pas c'est Mario Willemay. Tant l'écoute, yo bam, yo bam, yo bam, cinq minutes. Si nous avons one more, c'est permission pour nous d'ajouter. One more. <rires> nous avons one more, ladies. One more. All right. One more. Okay. Ok, one more. L'aime des faits paraît dans la vie. C'est tout normal. Moi, j'aime mes filles. Pas de question de. Ménage pour moi, pas vieux moi-même, ça que t'es besoin. Jeune chambre de autocyclette, automobile, j'étais bébé. Pour qui raison, raïs solote. Personne ne pas de c'est vim, c'est quoi, va vrai Patrick. Tout ensemble, mes amis. Ti maman, femme douce, pour m'lier, il y 
humiliation Si chéri Fais un soin Pour me lier tout ça Zot fait Encore Si maman moi Ça, zot fem, nous cachons ta vem. Si m'écoute, je suis, je suis, je suis, je suis. Les mondes t'abdiront, son cap est dit. Moi, t'as refusé, j'ai zorié moi. Chien t'a trempé, car ça vaut moins. Chante en pile, ensemble. Nous pas ici Pour me lier L'humiliation Si chéri Femme soit Pour me lier Tout ça Zot fait Moi pas ça fait Chauffer taxi M'a même Quelqu'un Bon bois physique pas fait confiance, compter l'argent. Yon pias des pias, égal même genre. Moi c'est l'homme, m'a serré grâce. Et puis à tort, tout le monde kawel. Pigan fait là, l'antidrotor. Femme yo. C'est yo met la vie Ti maman moi Fem douce Pour me lier Humiliation moi Ti chéri Fem soin Pour me lier Tout ça sort de fem Chantez pour femme yo mes amis Ti maman Ti chéri oua Femme soa Pou m sablie Tou sa zote kon femme Miami, thank you Thank you Honoring all the queens on the stage Thank you so much It is a great pleasure to be here Thank you, Mario Willemai Let's show Mario some love. Come on now. I know we can do better than that. All right, really soon here, the ladies are going to have a chance to go back to their seats, and we are going to honor them. For the time being, I'd like to uh, recognize our sponsors. And if we can do that very quickly, just one. Second here, the city of North Miami Beach, uh, St. Fort Funeral Homes, uh, Kaju TV, yes, Farm Company RX, Primary Care, who sponsored the food this evening. How was the food? Okay, it was just okay then, okay? Uh, I'm just kidding. Madelon Law Firm, Island TV, and Ariel Music School. Uh, Commissioner Villard, if, if I can have you uh, just say a few words, if you will, about some of our sponsors. Yes, your mic is right over there. Thank you, Mr. Calvin. Yeah, okay. Ladies, if you, uh, Mr. Calvin, I think they were going to go. Yes, they were going to play a little music, but if you can just say just a few words, okay. and then we'll come back to Okay, no music. problem. Yes. Now, I just wanted to say thank you to our sponsors. I know Mr. Yuzo already said most of them. But I want to really uh, thank uh, Primary Care tonight because, you know, last minute we say Primary, uh, we need some food. And uh, Mr. Princeton, are you here? Can you stand up for a minute? 
Thank you. And Mr. Prenson say, okay, okay, no, but next time just tell me that two months in advance, but I'll do it. <laughs> but we appreciate it, and we have Madeline Law Firm. Uh, Mr. Joseph Malalon, Attorney Joseph Malalon, are you in the house? Uh, yes, no, maybe? Okay, it's not here yet. Okay, we, uh, we have a big television today, Mr. Calvin News. Somebody's going to go home with the 55 inch oh television. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. Make sure you get a ticket so you can go home with it. And all your music school. And, uh, you know, we want to say thank you to each and every, every one of you. And uh, I see Flores in the house. Uh, Flores, thank you for being here. We are Tico, Alma, our supermodel again. Who's here with us? Thank you for being here. Awesome, awesome. And uh, Mr. Hughes, thank you so much. Absolutely. Cue the music, ladies. We're going to have you go back to your seats. Being uh -huh. escorted. All right, now is the time we are going to recognize our honorees. We are going to do them in blocks because we have so many of them. Don't they look gorgeous and pink? Come on, guys, give it up for them. The husbands have to clap especially loud. You will be on the couch tonight if you don't clap. <laughs> All right, our first honoree. As I read each of their bios, I was extremely impressed and I could easily see how they were selected for tonight. Um, our first honoree, she goes by Kathy, but Katuska, yes, Katuska Kathy Jean. Let's give her a big round of applause. Come on up to the stage so we can give you your award. This is your way of getting your flowers for tonight. When she is not developing new business opportunities, she is acting or giving back to the community. Kathy enjoys spending time with her family. She is also from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. At 11 years old, she migrated to the United States. Let's give it up for Port-au-Prince. Come on now. Yes. She made a name for herself as a stage and movie actress when she is not developing new business ideas. Once again, she is giving back to the community. Let's give it up one more time for Katuska Jean. Yes, she goes by Kathy. Yeah. 
I love you guys too. All right, our second honoree for tonight. Our second honoree for tonight. We're going to keep it moving because if not, we have 35 of them. Oh, we're going to give her a chance to speak? A quick second. Okay, all right. I'm going to treat it like the Oscars. Just don't slap me. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I could slap 35 times on this stage, man. All I need is five. I don't play I'm around with really women. Quick. Come on now. It's your it show. Is, <laughs> it is truly an honor and, I'm, and a proud moment for me to be standing here tonight, being recognized as a quintessential woman of the time, along with these esteemed women down there along with those esteemed women who are also being honored. I must thank God first. For God, without you, nothing in my life would be possible today. I am very humble and grateful to Commissioner Polly Villard and the North Miami Beach elected official and your staff for considering and selecting me as an honoree for this very distinguished award. I would like to give a big shout out to all the beautiful and fearless woman whose shoulders I stand on and who continue to motivate me to be my best self. I could not claim success or even fathom standing here without the motivation of my die-hard team from our health and wellness, which is the B12 store. Most importantly, to drive, the drive to succeed from my children whew, and the guidance of Mr. Gene, my husband, my life partner. I cannot say enough about this man who continually pours into me, into our children, and all the wonderful people who make me whole. I love you, babe. Again, my sincere thanks Again, for this recognition, I will continue to pray for the city of North Miami Beach and the surrounding cities as we all work to improve the lives of our fellow citizens. God bless you all, and I love you all. Thank you for this recognition. All right. Speeches are supposed to be 60 seconds, but we... You didn't hear me say that. I'm not trying to be Calvin Rock up here. I'm just trying to... You're not going to get me. Too many cameras around, brother. And one thing about it, if you hit me, you're not going to walk away. I tell you that right now. Every time I see you, it's on. I'm telling you right now. We're going to rearrange some furniture. Okay. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs> you're going to bring out the hood at me. Eh? You all think I'm on TV looking all proper and prim. I you hit me, you see what happens. You're going you're gonna to see some Liberty City come out of me. <laughs> and a whole lot of Port-au-Prince, too. And some... I've been there a whole lot. I know what's going on in Port-au-Prince. Y'all can't, you, you, you can dress up, but I, I know what's going on in Port-au-Prince. I've been there way too many times. All right. So next up. Uh, Mrs. Maurice St. Fort, uh, she is a wife and mother of five. She deserves an award just for that. A mother of five, an entrepreneur and philanthropist. She and her husband started their first business, an auto body shop in Miami. A dry cleaning business soon followed. The couple then ventured into the boat business before entering the funeral industry, which they are best known for today. Yes, absolutely. That's her uh, tall and handsome son. We've worked out together before. Since 1993, the family runs three funeral homes, one in Haiti, one in North Miami Beach. They plan to open a fifth funeral home in Fort Pierce, Florida, very soon. Giving back is more than just an obligation, she says. It is part of who she has become. Mrs. Marie St. Ford. Let's give her a big round of applause. Good evening, everyone. I'm grateful for this opportunity to address all this evening. I want to say thank you to Commissioner Paul Villard 
and the city of North Miami Beach. It is hard to put this feeling into word on such an important momentous occasion in my life. I'm deeply honored by Commissioner Villard, and I feel truly blessed. And I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all his blessing and for making this and all things possible. Of course, I will not be standing here without the loving support of my husband and my children. Thank you to my community for your continuous kindness and support in the city of North Miami Beach. I will leave you with a quote from Michelle Obama. There is no limit to what we as women can accomplish. Thank you and may all be blessed. All right, Maurice St. Fort, I thank you. you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Yes. Quapo to the stage. Quapo to the stage. Next up, Krista Lee Windsor. Krista Lee Windsor. Let's give her a big round of applause. Our third recipient for tonight. Come on, we can do better than that. Yes. She is responsible for Island TV's transformation into a modern and progressive television channel by revamping its branding and expanding its network with the development of new digital platforms. Hard to believe she has been in television for 20 years. Yes, 20 years of experience in media. She began her TV show hosting career as a teenager on HTN, the first 24-hour Haitian TV station in the United States. Let's give her a big round of applause. Yes, we know her. Absolutely. Well, I know we have about 30 some people to go, so I'm going to keep it short. I just want to say, uh, Commissioner Paul Villard, thank you so much for recognizing the unsung. Because, you know, the, the best work comes from the people who are doing it from their heart and not expecting anything in return. And so thank you for appreciating all of us, all of these wonderful women and, and the city of North Miami Beach. Thank you so much. And uh, this means a lot. All right. <laughs> Ms. Windsor, thank you. Crystal Lee, thank you very much. I'll be a Gelly O'Connor. Let's give her a big round of applause. Number four, the unsung hero. She has been the school counselor at Morningside K through eight Academy since 2002. Come on now. Hey, nice to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Born and raised in southeastern Nigeria. Yes. After high school, she graduated with a bachelor's degree in counseling education. She worked in Nigeria as a school counselor for several years. Outside the classroom, she dedicates her time to her church, the Nigerian community in South Florida and other various causes. She's been married for only 33 years, has three daughters, one grandson, and another one on the way. That is a busy, busy woman. Big round of applause. One more time for Miss O'Connor. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much. Of, um, I see, I keep calling you Officer Villard. Commissioner Villard and um, the whole team here at... Um, not Miami Beach, I thank you so much. When they said I have to speak for one minute, I'm saying, one minute? But now I know that what I have to say may take one, more than one minute, but I'm gonna keep it short. Um, first of all, let me thank God Almighty for this beautiful location, and thank everybody that is here. I wanna thank my family, my immediate, immediate family, my husband, my daughters, my grandson, and my extended family, the friends, who are like, Family, you call them, they're here. I want to thank also my other family, which is Morningside. Morningside. I started at Morningside with Mrs. Paris, my first principal. She's here. She, yes, she's here. She set the stage for, that, for what I am today. And all my colleagues at Morningside, that's why we call it Morningside family. We, we work as a team. 
and I cannot finish this without mentioning my current principal, Mr. Mourinho, and the assistant principal, Mrs. W. So thank you all, everybody that is here, all my friends. I want to thank everybody, and I give all thanks and glory to God. Who made Absolutely. Mr. O'Connor, thank you. Thank you very much. You're looking gorgeous. Love, love, love what you are wearing. Dr. Tiffany Lynn Howard, educator. Yes, yeah, she's number five, educator, speaker, mentor, and positive youth development advocate. She has worked in K-12 education for the last 17 years. She received her doctorate degree from Nova Southeastern University. Dr. Tiffany Lynn Howard has utilized the findings of her dissertation study on the experiences of thriving African-American girls in a leadership program to collaborate with youth-based organizations in an effort to develop programs that address the needs of thriving young girls in marginalized communities. Dr. Howard is also the designer and developer of the Girls Lead Mentoring Program, an art-based PYD model that has been successfully utilized in several community-based organizations across Miami. Let's give it up for Dr. Tiffany Lynn Howard. Good evening, everyone. I would like to start by thanking Commissioner Polly Villard for simply recognizing my work as an educator. And um, just, I remember in 2019, I was given the opportunity by the city of North Miami Beach to take something that was um, an idea and to be able to research it and um, develop it and implement it in a community as such. And I remember walking into this auditorium in this theater for the first time and I was amazed at the fact that the city had come together to be able to put something together that was uh, well organized with great leaders like Andrew and Cuevas. I don't know if they're here, but I just remember them from then. And being able to see girls not as a problem to be solved, but as a, thank you, but as a benefit to the community. And I've been able to dedicate a lot of my time, a lot of my effort into young ladies, being able to see the positive things in them instead of seeing them as challenges and problems. So I would just like to thank um, Commissioner Ballard and the city of North Miami Beach for giving me the opportunity to have this as a place to actually implement my program and not just uh, look back at it as, um, you know, just, you know, as educators, I don't know how many educators we have in here, but we don't really make a lot of money. <laughs> right, poor educators. But the reward in it is being able to know that we're impacting lives every day. And the reward in it is knowing that I'm able to see young girls who I've been able to instill positive things into their life and give them an opportunity to use their gifts, use their talents, and the big thing is to see, contribute it, and give it back to the community, and just give it back as, you know, black magic, black girl magic, and black excellence. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Howard, we really appreciate you. And next up, Dr. Ali Darbuz. Yes. She has been honored with multiple awards for her work with underserved populations, and she intends, congratulations, she intends to continue her dream to be a servant leader who makes a difference. Let's give it up. Come on now for Dr. Ali Dabouz. You can do better than that. Come on now. Any FAMU grads out there? Okay, four of you all. That's okay. I thought I'd uh, try to play to you. I'm just kidding. In 1995, she was accepted into the pharmacy school and relocated to Tallahassee, where she had the opportunity to attend FAMU. She graduated magnum cum laude in 19, so she's pretty smart, don't you think? Come on. Dr. Darbuz, you have the floor. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I will say thank you for this meaningful award. Um, when I get to hear the story of all the beautiful women here, I can say that they're all here because of the difference that they make for other people. So, Dr. Villar, I just want to say thank you for acknowledging what we do every day. And to the city of Miami, thank you so much 
for your support for women in leadership. And to all the ones that come here today to support this beautiful group of women, you leave your work, you leave your family to be here on Thursday night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And we thank you, uh, Dr. Darbuz. Next up, number seven, the unsung hero for tonight, Edwidge Jean-Glaude. Let's give her a big round of applause. Edwidge, yes, opened her first home health agency while working as a full-time nurse at Palmetto General Hospital. Today, primary medical care centers have grown to five locations all across South Florida. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Um, she is the epitome of the American dream, born and raised in Lagay, uh, Port Salou, located in the southeastern part of... Don't correct me. I have the microphone. Say it again for me. How do you say it? Pour salut. Yeah. Salut. Yeah. Let's just say Haiti. Yeah. We'll work on my, uh, my Creole and French later. Edwidge migrated to the U.S. in 1992. I've gone to Haiti 8,000 times, as many of you know. I know how to pronounce it. Yes, exactly. She, she attended Miami-Dade College and continued to Barry, where she earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Let's give it up for Edwidge, please. I'm so privileged and honored to be recognized as an unsung hero. I know we all feel very empowered tonight, all the ladies in the, tonight. But for me, real empowerment is when you use your platform to serve what is greater than yourself. And I think Commissioner uh, v Paul Villar, you're the perfect example of that. My husband in the audience primary and I have always believed in philanthropic work and giving back to our community is a way of life for us. So for me personally, I don't see the purpose of life if you have success and not able to share it with others. And true empowerment is in the lives that we can touch when we can change or improve their health conditions to assist with their education to empower them, to help others and their family and their communities. So for me tonight, I feel very lucky and I feel my life get better every day when I can give and share to others what God has generously given to me. Thank you once again for this recognition. Thank you. Edwards, thank you very much. Our eighth unsung hero for tonight, someone I happen to know personally, Vanessa Joseph. Come on now. Give her a big round of applause. Vanessa, immigration lawyer based in Miami. She began her work in immigration human rights as a law student when she worked in two legal clinics where she was able to engage in advocacy on behalf of the Haitian community. Is she here? She's here. I don't see her. Oh, she's walking up. Okay. All right. Vanessa also worked at the, uh, the Miami Law Health Rights Clinic. Congratulations, Edwidge. And uh, where she represented dozens of low-income individuals who struggled with mental health issues, HIV and AIDS, and on and on. Vanessa Joseph, let's give her a big round of applause. My escorts can come. Right. So, hi everyone, my name is, you know. And uh, they told us 60 sec, can you please move? Because gonna need to, thanks. So they told us to have one escort. I have four. <laughs> Woo. They told us to keep it to a minute, so I'm gonna use 10 seconds to say, thank you so much to Commissioner Polly Villard. I mean, this is amazing. But I also wanna say that I don't feel that I'm really unsung. I feel that I'm very sung. And so the reason that I took uh, four people who are very near and dear to me is because I think that they deserve to be celebrated as well. So I'm gonna use the elected official minute that they give you, you know, to make your address and then I'll use my 30 seconds that are left. This is Marlene Monesty. She is a planning technician at the city of North Miami. Marlene Monestim is one of the most incredible employees that that city has. 
And I just want you all to celebrate her here today. She's also the executive director of the Haitian American Professionals Coalition and really keeps the organization together. She is also the owner of MMB Consulting and she does incredible work throughout the community and maybe doesn't get thanked for all of it. So thank you. This is Zain Remy. Everyone knows her as Zain. Zain is the legal assistant at the city of North Miami. And Zane is working on getting her master's in public administration. And so I one day look forward to Zane actually becoming one of our top Haitian public administrators here. Now this is Deborah Seville. Everybody knows me as an immigration attorney. Everybody sees me on TV and all of that. And the reason that I'm able to do so much on TV and so much for the community is because I have the support and the love of Deborah Seville. Deborah Sanville is one of the most amazing attorneys that we have in our community, and a lot of you have no idea who she is. I'm able to do all the work that I do on TPS collaboratives nationwide. We've traveled to Mexico together to address the Haitian community over there, help them understand their rights when they're trying to come into the country. I could, have, could not have done any of that without Deborah Sanville. And then Carolina Matamoros. Her friendship is life-changing. <laughs> Carolina has had so many different roles. She does so many different things, and she's an incredible human being. And I'm not going to talk about what her next chapter could be, but I do want you to be on the lookout for Carolina. And if you're, if you're selling a home or buying a home, please call Carolina Matamoros. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you all so much. I appreciate you indulging me on this because I really think that the quintessential women of the times are standing behind me, standing alongside me, and all of you right here in the audience. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. And all of the unsung heroes right behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your work. All right. Our uh, ninth unsung hero for tonight. And uh, after we introduce our ninth unsung hero, she accepts her award. We're going to have a performance. But before we do that, Officer Ashley Ballard. And if the name sounds familiar to you, it is because her mother is a big part. Congratulations, ladies is a big part of this event. She is the mastermind behind this event. So um, after seeing her mother, uh, the commissioner, hey there. <laughs> seeing her mother um, taking an oath to become a law enforcement officer, Ashley treasured that image and that experience and exposure with her until she became a police officer herself and followed in her mother's footsteps. Today, Ashley is a police officer for the city of Miramar. Yes. She played basketball at Florida Memorial. She has a beautiful daughter, Sadie, who is eight years old. Let's give her, and oh, there she is on stage, sharing the spotlight. You have the floor, Officer Villard. Good evening. It's gonna be real short. Um, I would first like to thank God, the city of North Miami Beach, my village, which is my family and friends, my daughter, Sadie, and Commissioner Rillard for this opportunity to be here with you all. I'm extremely grateful and humbled by this distinguished honor to be recognized as an unsung hero and a quintessential woman of the times. I will continue to strive to be the best humble servant that God has called me to be. I would like to leave everyone with a famous quote by Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. <laughs> Let's continue to move the needle forward as pillars in our community and support one another as we pave the way for our younger generation. Thank you and God bless. All right. Now, her mother is in charge. She could have taken all night, and we would have had to stay here. But she only took a few minutes. Let's give all the, the first nine a big round of applause. All right. Our goal is to have you home by 2 a.m., but don't worry about that. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Well, now we have a big performance from Quapo. Quapo. Let's give it up for Quapo. Come on now. Come on, guys. It's energy, energy. We have some coffee out in the hallway. Come on.
Yeah. Yo, I go by the name Guapo Fella. C'est chaque jour la madem, chérie qui le voit pour le bac là. C'est chaque jour la madem, baby qui date fiançage là, moi poco poids. Chérie, moi non, moi poco poids, moi poco poids. Baby, non, moi poco poids, poco pare, baby, pas trop pressé, baby. Qu'est-ce que j'ai dans mon bas, c'est tout au fossé. Chaque jour, moi, je pour vous augmenter. Pas de raison pour vous, pas de tout monter. La ma parole, la ma parole net. Si nous précipitons, les cartes nous font. Faites confiance, pour patience. Vous voulez sauver à tout pour aller C'est chaque jour la demande. Baby, qui est le roi là. C'est chaque jour la demande. Baby, qui t'a fiancée là. Moi, poco point. Chérie, non, moi, poco point. Moi, poco point. Chérie, non, moi, poco point. They say I'm a wood boy. They say I'm a bad boy. They even say I'm a cowboy. They wanna see you sad. I wanna break your heart. Girl, you deserve it. I wanna do it right. She say I'm gonna be your Michelle You're gonna be my Obama, Obama I say freaky with me like that. Whoa with me like that. Control me like that. Tryna hold me I got my dudes, my dog, my best, my safe for That made me love and hurt and got me this story Woo! Dance it! Yeah! Yo, my dear Messi, my ah, uh, you're wonderful. Thank you for everybody, for the beautiful ladies. Merci à tout le monde. Et moi c'est Guapo Fella. Moi j'ai mis ça, qui est le moins pour comparer. Lis sur toute plateforme, il y a YouTube et la faire pile actualité de la télévision Haïti. Merci.
Great job. Thank you. Thank you. One more time for Quapo. Come on now, guys. I need energy. We feed off of energy. Yes, positive energy. Come on now. All right. As we go into the other honorees, are you ready, ladies? Is the audience ready for them? I don't believe you. Okay. Neftali Hyacinth. Yes, she is our 10th unsung hero. She has one job. Do not drop your award like the other ladies. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Neftali Hyacinth is a public relations strategist with a beautiful dress on tonight, making her way through the aisles. Beautiful young lady with her. She's penned and published as a writer in various media outlets. She is the daughter of church pastor, the Reverend Prosper Hyacinth, a Protestant missionary founder of over 50 churches. She is a proud mother and the president and public relations strategist of Tally and Company Strategies, a public relations media and finance firm. She is a current contributor to La Floridian, newspaper, medium, Blavity and Haiti Open. She's making her way up the stairs, making sure the dress is going to be joining her. We don't want anybody stepping on that beautiful dress. <laughs> One more time for Neftali Hyacinth. Come on, guys. Thank you so much, Calvin. <laughs> In the Holy Bible, Esther 4, verse 14 reads, Perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created, the moment to care for others, serve, change lives. I was reminded by this verse and stepped up and volunteered months, and volunteered several months when a few politicians needed my help to win their race. When my intellect was needed to tutor underprivileged kids, when someone needed a place to stay, when someone's business needed PR but couldn't afford it, and when a younger person was desperate for great mentorship, I find great pleasure in serving. It's great to be home. I grew up here in North Miami Beach and graduated high school here. Go Chargers! In fact, I brought a few competition awards and trophies to NMB Senior High. I want to thank Manushka, Patrick Blanchard, um, Patrick Blanchard, and the rest of the staff for putting together an event of such caliber. My commissioner, Holy Villard, you are the quintessential Woman of all times. Not Miami Beach. Not Miami Beach is blessed to have you as a representative because you are the perfect example of quality. Thank you for seeing me when I was busy working for the advancement of the community. I am especially grateful to a few people who have been a great support system in my life. My mother, Madly, as I call her, I thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for not, <laughs> thank you for not just teaching, but showing me how to do it all in heels. My younger sister, Mata Benji, thank you for your great love and kindness. My bosom friend since kindergarten, Emmanuel Anogues, thank you for your shoulders. Thank you for the laughters, for showing up in my life each and every time. <laughs> to my beautiful daughter, Delphine, she is 12, don't let the height fool you. Thank you for being my touch of pink the healthiest part of my life. Thank you for teaching me the innocence in people's lives. 
to accept being uplifted by others, to show compassion and take time to be playful. My miracle baby, thanks for being the sophistication of my simplicity. Je t'adore. Thank you to Tali and Co Strategies, and especially Diana Ade Pierre for having my best interests at heart always. To Biggie Records, with music, Coach Kenol Walshay, Patrick Fab, the crew of Caribbean Culture Fest, to my family at Telepam, Suzette Cabrera, Haiti Open, Le Floridien, Will, <laughs> Will at the Doggy, Susan McDowell, Circle of One Marketing, my siblings, Pastor John Wesley Ascent, John Billy, and Vasti, thank you for being a force in my life. My fellow quintessential women, you look amazing. Continue to work as if no one is watching. I will leave you, I will leave you with this gem that my late father planted in me. Do everything as if you are doing it unto the Lord. Commissioner Paul Villa, you are amazing. Chapeau bas. All right, Neftali Hyacinth, thank you very much. Y'all are not going to make me late for my newscast. I'm on TV at 11 o'clock. And I'm going. Y'all might miss it, but I can't miss it. <laughs> Next up, Mary Lou met, uh, Metellus. Mary Lou Metellus, yes. The mother of the Haitian American community. We're calling her tonight. Mommy. Affectionately known as Mommy, yes. She, okay. She, she hosted her own radio talk show in radio in Haiti. She moved to the U.S. in 1986, worked as a paralegal for more than 25 years. But get this, this is one of the key things. Congratulations. This is one of the key things. Mary Lou is actually attending Barry University right now in pursuit of a law degree. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's give her a big round of applause. Come on now. Mommy, affectionately known as Mommy. Good evening. Oh, wow. It is so hard to put this feeling into words. Nevertheless, I'm going to do my speech. Being um, a radio personality, you know, they only give me two minutes. It's not enough, you know. But anyway, I went to, I went to, I'm going to do it, uh, you know, I'm going to go fast. Um, it is a huge honor for me to receive this award tonight. Uh, and I'm accepting it with a humble heart. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be, not, to be here tonight. I'm very grateful to Commissioner Virad, my angel, um, a long time friend. We used to go to the same beauty salon uh, in Little Haiti. And um, I want to thank uh, the great city of North Miami Beach and his staff for sponsoring this great event. I want to say thank you, thank you to Commissioner Villard for selecting me to be among this beautiful quintessential women. When quintessential women, I give you, um, I, I applaud you tonight. But I want to tell you something. My Bible says that, um, women played on a leading role in the drama of redemption. Did you know that? So we're not unsung heroes. I want to tell you that unsung heroes mean des gens qu'on apprécie par leur juste valeur. Les héroïnes qui ne sont pas appréciées à leur juste valeur. But thank God, Commissioner Villa has thought about us, right? So we love her, yeah, from the bottom of my heart. I want to say thank you to all my friends, my pastors, my, my friend lawyers, doctors, uh, 
who um, who came tonight to support me. My family, my son Abraham Mitchellis and my grandson Jeremiah. And my brother who came from Long Island, my sister from uh, New York, all my friend, my business, my friend, businessmen, businesswoman, nephews, cousin, and nieces, thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. But I want before I go, I let I want to tell you that uh, we're not forgotten. God knows we're not unsung heroes because we give life to doctors, lawyers. Um, yes, yes, yes. We give life to doctors, lawyers, president, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I want to I want to encourage I want to encourage all the women tonight because we have fought we have fought for for the rights. They didn't give it to, to they didn't give them to us. We fought for the for them. Okay, so I want to encourage you to be strong and have faith in the Lord because faith make us stronger. Thank you. Gracias a toda la gente que viene esta noche para apoyarme. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup à tous les amis, tout le monde qui vient là pour supporter, pasteur, docteur, lawyers, tout le monde. I say thank you to you. Merci d'être revenu et que le Seigneur nous bénisse tous ensemble. May God bless all of us. All right. Mary Lou Metellus. Hey, what does she say in Creole? Was she talking about me in Creole? She wasn't talking about me? All right. She sounded like she said my name in Creole. Let's see if she was talking about me. I'm just kidding. Next up, great job. Thank you, thank you. Bernice Fidelia Morris. Mrs. Morris currently serves on the board of directors of GIF as chair of international affairs and deputy director for program, former cabinet minister of the Haitian government she is, serving in 2011 to 2016, first as director of the Haitian diaspora, liaison, office of the president, then as minister of Haitian living abroad, and lastly as minister advisor to the minister of Foreign Affairs. Her fundraising efforts are legendary. Let's give a big round of applause to Bernice Fidelia Morris. Come on now, come on guys, don't, don't fade on me now. We still have a long night. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. You know when we think of heroes, we think of the obvious names. The names we can all recite and names we hear about all the time. Luckily, we have an evening like this one where lesser known heroes can be singled out, noticed, and honored. One such unsung hero that is my distinct honor to recognize is our own North Miami Beach, Commissioner Paul Villard. Please, Commissioner Paul Villard, can you please come this way? Though an elected official whose work as a commissioner can be easily recognized and highlighted, it is the behind the scenes work. The work that she or others don't readily mention or talk about. It is her work and her outreach in and to the community, the after hours visits, the relentless pursuit of making sure others in the community get the care and assistance they need. That's what I'm talking about, Commissioner. That's what needs to be presented, and that's what needs to be recognized and honored. Commissioner Villard, not unlike myself, we live not only for our families and children, 
but we live in service to the community. Those who we recognize need our help and assistance. We do all this without the hope of recognition or fanfare. Because as women, as black women, this is our calling. Having said that, it is with great pride and that I selflessly honor myself and Commissioner Villard, two ladies deserving of the recognition of being unsung heroes. I thank you, Commissioner. And I have two, we say one minute, I don't think I've done that much yet, right? But uh, <laughs> I just need to just have my son and my daughter who are dear to me. I have my grandson in the back, he's five months old. Thank you, Trent, thank you, Rashad, Sky, and Will Morris for being my support team. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Bernice, thank you. Next up, Bianca Joseph. Absolutely. Currently serving as the Deputy Commander for the Internal Affairs Section at the Miami Police Department. Graduating with a Master's in Disaster Management from FIU and is currently serving as, once again, the Deputy Commander for the Internal Affairs Section at the Miami Police Department. She's a proud parent of a beautiful three-year-old daughter named Janelle. The joy of motherhood has ignited a passion to make a stronger impact on young people. Bianca Joseph. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone. 60, 60 seconds. Let's see if I could do this in 30 seconds. So women, W is for warrior. O is for omniscient. M is for magnificent. E is for evolving. N is for necessary. Without us, where would the world be? Thank you. Oh, man. Wow. Bianca Joseph, a woman of few words. That may be one of the biggest reasons they're cheering tonight. <laughs> Nadine Hilaire, Nadine. She's a proud mother of two daughters and one son. She received her bachelor's in nursing at Chamberlain University. She is a South Florida nurse ambassador for the Haitian Nurses Network and a board member for the Toys for the Poor Foundation. Let's give her a big round of applause. As she makes her way to the stage. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I feel very special tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Villard, for this utmost recognition. I feel so honored and very nervous. <laughs> I want to take my uh, family and friends for being here today. They have traveled from everywhere. I even have people here from New York. So <laughs> So that's very special. I appreciate uh, every one of you. Thank you for being here. Um, Commissioner Villard selected the most perfect title for us. Um, we have doctors, nurses, therapists, CNAs, paramedics working very hard in the hospitals. No, one's, no one really sees them, but they are working very hard. Please respect them. We have the teachers who are helping us raise our children. Please appreciate them. We have the uh, firefighters. They are risking their lives for us. Show them love. Thank you again, uh, Commissioner Villard. Thank you to the city of North Miami Beach. Uh, ladies, each one of you deserve this award tonight. Continue to give back to your communities and keep up the good work. 
Thank you again. Unsung hero number 14, Nadine Hillar, and now number 15, Lauren Rios. Not much about Lauren. Not much about Lauren, but she is a passionate community servant whose motivation is to inspire and help shape individuals and communities to identify their full potential. Let's welcome Lauren to the stage. Lauren Rios. Hello, good evening, la good evening ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. I know we're all kind of um, waiting for the other, how many, 15 other ladies? Uh, Kevin. <laughs> so um, I want to thank Commissioner Vallad, City of North Miami Beach, um, for recognizing me for my passion about helping and serving the community. I would like to thank my friends and my family, you all know who you are, for supporting me throughout the journey. While I have still a few seconds, I would like to bring your attention, to, <laughs> it's gonna be quick, I promise, attention <laughs> to the growing problems of dementia and Alzheimer's that are affecting friends and family. Thank you, especially our family right now. So please support your local organization and community that are involved to fight the disease and the cure. Thank you so much and enjoy your evening. Thank you, thank you, Lauren. Number 15, the unsung hero. Number 16, Rosemary Saeed. Let's give her a big round of applause, yes. Dr. Saeed is a family medicine specialist in North Miami and a diplomat of the American Board of Family Medicine. Coming to South Florida, completed her residency training in family medicine, University of Miami, Jackson Memorial, 1998 to 2001. Congratulations. All right. My pleasure. Yes. Dr. Saeed received the Women's Health Award and Resident Teacher Award. She speaks several languages, English, Spanish, Creole, and French. I'd say that's a smart woman. Rosemary Saeed, let's give it a four. Come on now. Commissioner Villard, your light shine, shines bright tonight. Thank you for all you do, and thank you for being you. You are a breath of fresh air, I tell you all the time. To the city of North Miami Beach, I could not have dreamt of a better city to open my own clinic. Coming to work feels like vacation every day. <laughs> and I wouldn't stand here without my unsung heroes the women who stand behind me, and there's, because it's the month of the women, I just want to recognize my mother, who came from Haiti and who's here tonight, Mama, <laughs> She became mother and grandmother when I left my four children in Haiti to come do three years here, residency training at Jackson Memorial Hospital. And Samantha, my right hand, <laughs> who's young, beautiful, and powerful, I wouldn't be here without her keeping my life organized at the clinic and Jessica, my new kid on the block, thank you. And for the phenomenal women who are being honored tonight, I can't believe how much power there was on that stage behind the curtain. You guys are powerhouses, you empower me. And um, I thank you. And we thank you, thank you. Rosemary Saeed, thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Commissioner, we'll like to take a picture with you both. Carline Pierre, Carline Pierre. Let's give her a big round of applause. Number 17, unsung hero. She enjoys traveling, reading, and learning, which led to her to complete her studies in Haiti and then move to Miami for better opportunities. She earned her associate's degree in business administration. Congratulations. And while working uh, there for the last, uh, at Lindsay Hopkins, while working there for the last 30 years, she has helped many students along with their educational journeys as a result of her passion in helping others and hard work. She has been bestowed the honor of being the current employee of the year at Lindsay Hopkins, Miss Carline Pierre. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to thank everyone who came to support me, the fellow honorees and the city of North Miami Beach. It is a great honor for me to be here. I'd like to give a 
special thanks to Commissioner Paul Villar for choosing me to participate in this marvelous event. Her thoughtfulness is a treasure. Um, I, I cannot forget to thank my amazing family and friends that God has blessed me with. Thank you. All right. Ms. Pierre, thank you very much and congratulations. Okay, we're gonna take a um, little break from the honorees and we're gonna laugh a little bit. Who's ready to laugh? Huh? I'm not gonna say my jokes. I, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about having a real comedian on stage. Congratulations. Congratulations, brother. So you're not ready for a comedian. Don't you run up on stage and hit him either. You guys are not ready to laugh. Are you ready to laugh? All right. Give a big round of applause to Obri Blog. Obri Blog. Good evening. Comment ta? Muy bien. All right. Comment nous y? I'm back in top ten. I don't have too much time, but I will be quick. Before I start my jokes, and uh, do you see Will Smith is here? I, I, I don't want to get spanked. Will Smith is here? Eh? If he's here, kick him out. All right. You know, when Commissioner Paul Villa called me, he told me, Obri, I have something special for you. And did, what is it? it is, she told me, I have tell you women. I have tell you women for you. And did, really? She said, she told me, I want you to enjoy them. Make, him up, make them happy. And the Commissioner Paul Villa, my wife already too much for me. And you give me tell him more women, so what can I do with them? She said, no, I just want you to give them some jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Paul Villa a hand for me, please. All right. You know something? You know something? It's good to work with Spanish people. Uh, really, it's good to work with Spanish people. They're very funny. I have a Spanish guy work with me at the radio. He's from Nicaragua. He only have maybe three months in the United States. They have a soda machine at the radio. And he want to get a soda. The soda costs 60 cents. He put 50 cents. And the machine say, dime, dime. But you know, that means dime. Machine say die. That means machine need ten more cents. The machine say die. And then the men look at die. Say coca, 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 coca. <laughs> Thank you very much. We love you. Nap salue PBX. Nap salue PBX. Et tout l'autre média qui est là. And I will say I love my wife. She's here. Sherry, I love you lot. Thank you. Having a good time? Come on now, are you having a good time? Nobody ran up on stage, so we're, 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 we're doing all right. Nobody ran up on stage. All right. So now we have Commissioner uh, Villard, who is going to give us, uh, say, a, say a few words for us right now, if you will. Commissioner? Thank you. Um, I would like to... Um the former mayor from the city of North Miami, Joe Celeste. 
Jo Celeste, are you still here? Oh, he left? Uh oh. Okay, and we have our chief of staff, Mr. Willis Howard. Can you come here for a minute, please? While uh, Willis is coming, we we are to continue saying thank you to everybody who, who helps us tonight. And I want to say St. Fort Funeral Home. The young ladies, the honorees, had a chance to go to a, to a yacht, yacht trip. It's uh, thanks to St. Fort Funeral Home, especially uh, Mr. Evans and uh, his mom, Marie St. Fort, who allowed us to go on a yacht trip for zero money. So we say thank you very much. And don't forget tonight you're going to go home with that 55 inch television. Make sure you have a ticket. We're going to be calling names. We're going to call in tickets so you can go home with the 55 inch television. And don't forget the food that you're going to be eating tonight is from Primary Care. And uh, Madeline Law Firm, this is who is giving us this 55 inch television. Thank you so much, Madeline Law Firm. We want to say thank you to each everybody who's here. I'm going to let Mr. Youth take over. Thank All right. you. Thank you, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, she was recognizing all of the important people in the audience. If you think you're a VIP, please stand, if you will. That was a joke. That was a joke. If you think you're a VIP, I'm losing you guys. I'm Come sorry, on now. Mr. Jude. For one yes, minute, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Please. Uh, Chief of Staff is here to say a word. Please. Can you please come say a word, Put him on the spot a little bit. Go ahead and say yeah, a few yeah. words for me. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. I hope you're having a great time. He's smart. He's very smart. Let the women talk forever, and the men don't say much. Sounds like being at, at, at home. You can just sit right in your living room. All right. <laughs> All right. Keynote, don't say woo, because that's probably you. It doesn't say much at home, too. Um, all right, ready for the keynote speaker? She is a beautiful woman, and I'm happy to be introducing her tonight. Sage Nicole is a Haitian American model and actress who broke into the fashion world in 2019 after signing a contract in Los Angeles with Naturals Wilhelmina Models Miami. She experienced a meteoric rise after being named the first Haitian American model to be featured and the iconic Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. If you don't have it, I urge you to get it. I bought two copies when I knew she was in it. She had, you got, I'm, I'm totally losing you guys. Come on now. She has gone on to appear in campaigns for Russell Westbrook, Skims by Kim Kardashian, and is the face of Heidi Klum's new hit show, Making the Cut. Recently, Sage headlined New York Fashion Week and continues to break beauty barriers as a black, bald, and curve model. Yes. If you've seen her Instagram, if you've seen her Instagram page, uh, I know you married man can't really look, but for the single guys, go to her Instagram page. She is currently being trained by world-renowned actress, director, and producer Tasha Smith, and is looking forward to bringing her talents to the big screen. She wants women and girls everywhere to know that every great dream begins with a dreamer. You have everything inside of you to make it a reality. It's your job to recognize it, commit to it, and bring your dream to life for the world to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Sage Nicole. Give her a big round of applause. Come on now. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Calvin, for that amazing intro. I've had the opportunity to work with him for, a, um, for Angels for Humanity Foundation, so thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Villard, for this amazing event. You're truly a force to be reckoned with. And, of course, thank you for North Miami Beach. Now, look at all of these amazing women. All of these women have different backgrounds, so many stories, and so much to look forward to. Can we please give them a round of applause? <laughs> Seriously, what would men do without us? We are everything. We are lovers, we're nurturers, givers of life, lawmakers, elected officials, cabinet members, doctors, healers, teachers, vice presidents, 
We are intelligent, resourceful, dynamic. We are the future. So growing up, I've always aspired to work with influential women, to be surrounded with people that love what they do and that are making an impact. And now it's 2022, and here we are. So ladies, thank you for all that you do, and thank you for everything that you'll continue to do. We applaud you. All right, so with it being Women's History Month, I wanna take time to highlight a few outstanding women that have allowed me to believe that I can do anything. First is Wilma Rudolph. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of her, but Wilma Rudolph was born with polio. She was told that she could never walk, but then went to win three gold medals at the Olympics. Of course, we have Oprah Winfrey. Despite all of her, despite her rough upbringing, I should say, she dusted herself off and became one of the highest paid women in the media and one of the most influential. Third, we have Trinity Gilbert, my daughter. <laughs> Trinity inspires me every day at such a young age to be better. She inspires me to not be the best mom that I can be, but to be the best woman that I can be. So thank you. And last but not least, my mom, Lucien. <laughs> can we give her a round of applause, please? <laughs> Coming from Haiti with a dollar and a dream. Uh, she and my dad sacrificed everything to make sure that their kids were well taken care of, stayed in church, and most importantly, raised in a loving household. So, thank you. With all of these inspiration, inspirational women, their tenacity and hard work has paved the way for me to achieve everything that I've done thus far. You never know who's watching, and you never know who you're inspiring. So with everything that you do, aim to be an advancing person. An advancing person is someone that does their best to leave every situation and everyone that they encounter better than how they found them. So I'd like to end the speech this evening by offering some words of, words of encouragement to anyone that has a dream and wants to go big. In the words of Mark Twain, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things that you did do. So I urge you to cross the bridge of doubt have a go at it, be bold, and I guarantee you will find yourself on the road of success. Thank you, guys. <laughs>
You've invested in properties in Brooklyn, St. Louis, Newark, and now three houses in Philly. You're worthy. And I said to myself, how am I worthy? Because I didn't even realize that I had accomplished all of that. And then I said, and the Lord quickened my spirit, I didn't do it, God did it. And guess what? He said that he would. Congratulations to all of you. Be blessed. I know that's right. Thank you so much, Reverend Millicent Williams. Hey, Siri, set the timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Okay. No, not because of Reverend Williams. No, don't even try. All right. All right, so our honoree number 19 this evening, ladies and gentlemen, with a warm round of applause, please bring up Apostle Nellie Joseph to the stage. Last March... Apostle Nellie Joseph was promoted to sergeant with the Miami Gardens Police Department and she received a proclamation from Commissioner Polly Villard at the city of North Miami Beach for her outstanding service in the community. Let's welcome once again Apostle Nellie Joseph. Good evening, everyone. I have one minute to wrap this up. Tonight is about my mother, St. Tanya St. Fard, who came here on a boat with me from the Bahamas because my loving auntie, who's no longer here, Juliana Denevard, wanted us to be here with the family. So I stand here as a mother of Genesis and Matthew, law enforcement officer of 17 years, a police sergeant, a, a, a person that has earned her de master's degree, CEO and non of a nonprofit organization, an author of now 17 books, an apostle training up leaders. I'm not bragging on myself, but I'm bragging on my mother. I thank you, mommy. I love you, mommy. And every friend, every family, every co-worker that's in this room that came in here, stand up. I applaud you. So to every woman in this room who thinks you're not pretty enough, you're not thin enough, you're not smart enough, you're not gifted enough, your hips are not wide enough, God said you are more than enough. Thank you. Let's keep our hands together and let's keep the keep your hands together for Judge Lordy Jean. Judge Lordy Jean was appointed to the Miami-Dade County Court on November 16, 2018. She became the first Haitian American woman to serve on the Miami-Dade County Court. Let's give a warm welcome to Judge Lordy Jean. All right. Bonsoir tout le monde. Ma parle en créole parce que je pense que j'ai un pile monde ici qui ne pense que maïsien ou bien me comprend ou bien me parle créole. Je ne peux pas arriver, je ne peux pas arriver, je ne peux pas arriver sans support communauté haïtienne. I stand on the shoulders of giants. I'm grateful for mentors. Jeff Lovzama is escorting me tonight because he's been a friend and a mentor for years and I appreciate him and I appreciate how he honors women as well. I'm grateful for the friendship and mentorship of Polly Villard, who I've known for many, many years. It's great to be with you all. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, everyone, we're gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm back. You know, I had to take a little break for a minute because it's about to really really get turned up in here, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, we did just have our keynote speaker. The commissioner, Polly Villard, in the city of North Miami Beach wanted to give a special award to our keynote speaker tonight. Where is she? Where, where's, where's our keynote speaker tonight? Everybody give her a round of applause for this accomplished, black, beautiful woman. We appreciate you. I just wanted to give you a you know, a beautiful plaque. Every plaque that we have tonight is very especially made, right? This is from the heart. We want to thank you for taking time to be part of this great event, honoring this quintessential woman. And you are also a quintessential woman. And we appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you so much. And I hope it's not the last time we want to stay connected with the great city of North Miami Beach. And I can say thank you to Commissioner Michael Joseph, because he's the one who is calling you and to make sure that you come here with us today. So we appreciate you, we love you, and we are proud to see you as the first Haitian American woman on Sports Illustrated magazine. Moro, congratulations. That's right. 
Thank you, thank you. So to keep the show rolling, because we got some fun things going on tonight, and I know it's been fun. We've been honoring all these beautiful women. We need to, we need to, we need to pump it up, right? You guys ready to pump it up tonight, right? I'm ready to pump it up. So we are gonna give another award. Uh, do we have a Lieutenant Claude here tonight? <laughs> Lieutenant Claude. <laughs> all right, Minister Claude is also known as Lieutenant. Claude says that in addition to serving the community, she was born and raised in her happiest moments in the police department. Oh, excuse me. She was born and raised her happiest moments in the police department is when she is sharing her knowledge and mentoring others. Please, let's welcome Lieutenant. I salute you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Villard, for this recognition. Um, I'm very proud to share this night with these talented and passionate women. It's, it's just one thing I want to say. There's work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done. And the women who are being honored tonight are being honored for the work that they are doing. And there's a lot more work that needs to be done. There are people out here who need us. They need you. They need your skills. They need your talents. They need your abilities. <clears throat> Excuse me. They need what God has given you. They need what God has, the talents, the skills, the abilities that God has given you. So tonight I'm encouraging everyone to reach out into the community. Reach out into the community and share your gift, share your talent, because what God has put in you has the power to heal the world and heal the community. Thank you. Thank you. All right, up next we have Madonna's Luke Rosan. Madonna's Ruth Luke Rosan. Aside from being a voodoo priestess, Madonna is a voice for women in her community back in Haiti, where she is known for her activism for women's rights. She is a business owner, philanthropist, and well-respected thought leader. Let's welcome Madonna Luke Rosan. <laughs> 